Hello there! I believe you have had a wonderful week so far. For today's video I have two tips for dinner and they share the same ingredient – tortillas. The first one is pretty easy and straightforward and it shouldn't take more than 10 minutes to prepare. The other one, while a bit more time consuming, is still very tasty and also a bit spicy. Let's prepare them together! As usual, let's start with a quick overview of the ingredients. Yeah, the table looks stuffed, however, the fillings are pretty easy to prepare. There are a lot of vegetables, proteins and also seasonings. As a result, each of the wraps is rich in flavor and also in macros. I start by turning on the gas to medium heat. Once the pan is hot enough, I warm up the tortilla from both sides and put it on a table. Quick note, you can also do it in the microwave oven. The first wrap I am focusing on combines tuna, spinach and mozzarella. I put a bit of hot ketchup on the plain tortilla and spread it with a spoon. Next, I put the chunks of tuna on the tortilla, approximately to its half so I can fold it later on. I continue by putting the pieces of fresh spinach leaves on the tuna and I also add a bit of salt and black pepper to taste. One of the last ingredients of this particular wrap is the mozzarella which I add a generous amount so it is cheesy and soft. In the end, I cut the scallion into smaller pieces and I roll the wrap. Now, you can either heat up the whole wrap on the pan or use the panini grill just like I did. I put it on the preheated grill, close it and let it grill for a couple of minutes. The small recommendation here is to press the top of the grill sparingly. Great, a couple of minutes have passed and the meal is ready. I move the wrap from the panini grill onto the table and cut it in half. Look at all the beautiful golden brownish colors of the grilled wrap. Oh, and let's not forget about the cheese. So delicious and so yummy. Cool, we are done with the first one, so let's move to the next wrap. As with almost every salty meal, I start by peeling the small onion and the two garlic cloves. I chop the onion into small cubes and put them into a bowl. I add the ground beef meat to the bowl and finish this part by grating the garlic cloves. Next, I add the salt, black pepper and paprika and mix them with a fork so that all the flavors are spread across the whole mixture. As I mentioned in the beginning, one of the recipes will be spicy. So now comes the time to cut the cayenne pepper into small pieces. I make sure they are all cut into tiny pieces and move them into the beefy onion mixture. I mix everything once again to evenly distribute the newly added peppers. As one of the last ingredients, I chop the fresh parsley and add it to the meat. Yeah, you have guessed it right, I give it one more stir. The core of the wrap is now fully prepared, so I turn on the gas to medium heat, put the pan on top of it and add a bit of olive oil. I swirl it several times to distribute the oil across every part of the pan. Once the oil is hot enough, I add the meat to it. You can try the temperature of the oil by putting a tiny piece of the meat in the pan. In the beginning, I stir it roughly using a wooden spoon to make sure every bigger chunk of the meat has turned into small piece. Once the meat is roasted, you know the first phase is done when it turns from red color into a brownish one. I decrease the heat and let it continue the frying. The meat will release some water, which will all vapor as the pan frying continues. Now let's enjoy a bit of ASMR frying for a few seconds. Great, let's get back to the main focus of this video. After several times when the meat is done, I turn off the heat and move the prepared filling into a separate plate. Then I put the plate aside and focus on the next part. Hmm. Did I mention that there will be two tips? Well, there is one more as I have decided during the video to alter the course and make a separate one. For this one, I start by putting the slices of bacon in the pan. There is no need to put any oil or preheat the pan as the bacon will slowly release enough fat as it heats up. I turn them from side to side so that it is too roughly fried. 
After a couple of minutes, I move the bacon into a plate with the napkin on top, so it can absorb all the left fat. Next, I spray the olive oil onto the pan and I crack two eggs. I will make it sunny side up, so add a bit of black pepper, salt and chili on the top. If you do not prefer the spiciness, you can skip the chili. Since I do not want to have running eggs, I cover the pan with a lid. After a couple of minutes I turn off the heat and move the eggs to a plate. Cool! Looks like I am all set up for wrapping the ingredients. I start by putting the sour cream on top of the preheated tortilla and I spread it across the whole piece. Next, I add a few fresh spinach leaves to the sour cream and continue by adding two pieces of sunny side up eggs. As I mentioned, these wraps are rich in proteins and flavor. Next, I add a few spoons of corn on the eggs and cut the tomatoes into slices, which I put on the top of the corn. To give the wrap a bit more taste and make it more colorful, I add a few pieces of fresh basil leaves. I follow up by adding the fried bacon slices on top of all ingredients and I add the chopped scallions. Now I just put on grated mozzarella and I fold the wrap into a roll. Cool! The second one is done. Now let's finish the recipe with the last one. I'm using guacamole as the base spread for this particular combination. You can check my other video by clicking the small banner on the top right corner to learn how to make guacamole at your own home. I add the fried ground beef meat to the guacamole and I continue by cutting the dried tomatoes into strips. I put the strips on top of the meat just like I add the corn. Next I cut the small cornichons and small pepperoni into tiny pieces and I add both to the wrap. Of course, there wouldn't be a wrap without cheese, so I grate the cheddar and add a bit of mozzarella and cilantro on top of everything. Now I just fold it into a roll and I'm almost ready. I put both wraps into the preheated pan and heat it from both sides. In the end, I cut all wraps into halves and I am ready to eat them. Thank you for watching my today's video. As usual, let me know in the comments below if you have tried any combination. I will be very grateful for your like and subscription to my channel. I will see you next week with yet another video from my kitchen. Take care!